What's up guys, Brit Breaks here, and we're on to day two of our Combine Break series. We're on to 2016. First thing before we start, we've got a nice little bonus here from uh, Steel City this box was bought from. So let's see what we get in this little bonus pack. Always nice to get free cards. You may notice in the background too, my first cards out of Tops 2020 Baseball for baseball fans. So here we go. So we've got a scratch to win. Let's see if we won bronze edition. May need something stronger. You won. A gift card. Woo. Uh, it doesn't say what it is. But we want a gift card, so need to check on that one. Won't show you the full code. That's pretty neat. Anyway, onto this. We got two packs, that's nice. Got some 2016 Dom Rush Baseball. 2020 comes out soon and we got one pack of 2016 football. Nice work, seeing as we're on 2016, let's give this a go. I'll save the baseball for off camera. Keep it football for this combine video. So we got the Demarius Thomas. It's a pretty nice design. Everson Griffin, Robert Quinn. Mark Aiken, Brock Osweiler, DGB, uh, Yards, Carson Palmer, TJ Green for the Colts. Get those out of the way and we're into the blaster box today. Not the full hobby like yesterday. This video should be a nut shorter. So we've got one day of combine action in the w under underway. What do you guys think? Put in the comments. Thought uh, Denzel Mims had the best day for me. You see, he's my prospect breakdown of the day for taking two. Um, he ran a sub four four, which for him I think was great. I had him down as kind of a four six guy almost. He's very slow. Awkward route runner. Um, and his free cone as well was exceptional for his size. Um, and he just has great hands, that guy. So the catch radius he has too. I think he could go right up draft boards. Anyway, we'll start with the season tickets. Frank Gore, Julio Jones, class reunion. School colors, Farrah Cooper. It's a cool looking design. Lots of flips here. JJ Watt, old school colours, that's neat. And the sepia. And we got the game day for Deronia Wilson and Michael Thomas. That guy was turned out well. Um other guys I thought did well, Justin Jefferson. Again, running a four four or some guy I didn't expect. I thought he'd be a high four fives guy. Um that's certainly gonna help his stock, and he'll be back in that late first contention, early second with with Mims now, probably. Also around that range, guys like Brandon Ayuk. Um, he ran a 4.5, but he was showed his explosiveness with a 40-inch vert. Anyway, Doug Martin and Jalen Marshall is our auto. Nice card. Paxton Lynch. Poor old Paxton. He definitely didn't turn out. DeAndre Hopkins, old school. Joey Bosa and Hunter Henry. So yeah, I think with Eric, he ran that 4-5, but he's that twitchy, short speed electric guy. He's not gonna run the the high numbers. Jalen Rager was another weird one. Kind of, he was meant to challenge Ruggs uh, in that 40, and he ran a 4-4-7, but again, showed a really nice vert, 42 inch vert. So often these guys just have that explosiveness off the line, that first 10 yard speed. 
And that's what you really need in the NFL. It's not often you're running these 40-yard goes. It's that first 10 yards to separate, create the uh, separation you need to run the curls, to run the, these routes, developing routes. Anyway, Darren Sproles, Drew Brees, Len Dawson. We got a Dak. School colors. We got an Andrew Luck, old school colors. Derek Henry, Connor Cook. Another guy that had a really good day, C.D. Lamb. I think he's definitely, he could even be wide receiver one now after that day. Um, especially with Judy running a 4 4 5. The difference between them is shocking. Um, but Judy is still an elite route runner, and we see that. We saw that in the drills. But I think for me personally, Lamb's size and hands, that's the guy I want with a top 5, top 10 pick. He translates better for me. Don't get me wrong, I think Judy's going to be a great player. He's going to create separation. I just don't know whether I want him on the boundary or as kind of a more of a slot and moving about the field. Connor Cook. Demarcus Robinson, school colours. Aaron Rodgers, Cal, old school colours. Game day, Devin Kajust and a Kenyon Drake. Um... Yeah, well, it's not often we get disappointed by a 428, but man, I'd love to see Ruggs run that 42 flat. It's a shame. It was great to see uh, Antonio Gibson, though. He's my guy, running sub 44. And he's like 230 pounds. That's, he's just an insane weapon. He just moves all over the field. We'll see him in running back drills this week. You can see how explosive he is for that size. Uh, Alan Robinson. Well, here we got our second auto, I think. And it's a Cody Whitehair, the kind of center guard prospect. I really liked his film coming out. I think he's still in the league. Not sure exactly where he's with. Here's a Bengal, Tyler Boyd, out of pit. Todd Gurley, Zeke, and Trey Madden. Yeah, Donovan Peoples-Jones, probably another guy. He, uh... Really explosive, running 139 inch broad and then a 44.5 uh, in the vert. That was crazy. Uh, he never really got accurate targets at Michigan with Shea Patterson. But it'd be interesting to see how he translates to the NFL. Former five star prospect out of high school, so the talent's definitely been there. It's just kind of getting the production you want on the field. In terms of the tight ends, we had, I think, DeGuara out of Cincinnati probably had the best day there. We ran a 4-7, which is okay at his size. Um, it be interesting to see how he does, because he's performing the running back drills too, just like Gibson, as people kind of want to see how he does as a, as a full-back athlete. Let's see how, see how that goes. Anyway, back to cards. Tony Romo, Russell Wilson, Christian Hackenberg, another guy that didn't pan out, Rob Gronkowski. Sorry for the shaking there, I'm knocking the camera. Carson Wentz and a Deontay Booker. Devontae? Devontae, my bad. Last pack. Um, let me know what you think about the series, guys. Hope you like it. It's just nice to watch the combine and then open cards at the same time, combining two hobbies, my draft and my cards. Bit of a shame that it's on US prime time now, which means it's hard to watch over here. Kind of finishes at kind of 4 or 5 a.m. now is a shame um, QB wise is the only other thing from yesterday so I think Herbert really helped his stock I think he's cemented himself as he could even be QB too if these questions still stand around to her in his health um, he's just so effortless with his arm you look at other guys like Eason who has the same kind of arm velocity but he's just spray he was spraying it whereas Herbert just easily gets it down there and positions it pretty well for his receivers and he runs sub 4-7 as well, which just shows he has that kind of versatility to separate in the run game if he needed. Derek Henry, Philip Rivers, Rashad Higgins, and the last card is a Paul Perkins. So we got two autos. Cody Whitehair and a Jalen Marshall. Um, no superstars. Preferred to see a Zeke one here, but never mind. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you're enjoying the combine. Take care.